We are the first in Illinois to have a prostate imaging program that employs the ultrasound fused to the MRI of the prostate. Traditionally, patients with suspected prostate cancer have gotten ultrasound biopsies. The problem being that you really can't see lesions particularly well with ultrasound. A lot of times these lesions aren't that big, maybe five millimeters, maybe a centimeter. So even if you try to grid the prostate in a three-dimensional way and try to get samples from each of those points on the grid, you may very well miss the lesion. We've had MRI of the prostate for some time, which depicts the lesions in the prostate very well. But now with this new MRI ultrasound guided fusion platform, what we're able to do is capture the images of the prostate and the lesion within the prostate by the MR. So we're combining two technologies, the ultrasound with the MRI. Using this technology, we can place a needle directly into that lesion instead of sampling areas that are not suspicious for prostate yeah, cancer. So here's we have a working group. We meet once a week to discuss patients in a sort of collaborative, multidisciplinary way. We work very closely with the radiologists uh, who interpret the MRI imaging. They're the ones that tell us where are the suspicious lesions in the prostate? This happens to demonstrate uh, a lesion. If I can point here, a lesion on the right side of the prostate gland, which um, we would then um, both describe in terms of our, of our report and also um, trace actually on the images for the urologist to see. The treatment options include active surveillance, also called watchful waiting, radiation therapy, radioactive seed therapy, and surgery, radical prostatectomy, whether it's with the robot or open. It's really just a big step forward for patient care. Using the MRI information to the ultrasound allows us to better detect prostate cancer, better select treatment options for patients with fewer biopsies, less patient discomfort, and most importantly, more accuracy.